And welcome back to the actual plot of the game. We actually continue on to where we were going before we got sidetracked. From the Atlantis Repeatedly. Up. This is Atlantis. Hooray! Is that you, Leo? Huh? Yeah. I have just contacted the person you will give that orbital frame to. His name is Thunderheart. One of Are you saying that plot is that you him. must backtrack every five minutes? Testing, testing. Leo, Thankfully, we are done with backtracking. Here From here on out, it's a yes, straight line. Oh, really? really? He's just a kid. Yep. What? No more sidetrack. Are we on, Elaine, are you really We're on the plot railroad? I don't believe you. How the hell do I know? I'm sure he can. And Thunder, yep. report on conditions. We are on the plot railroad. Sure. Let's be killed that giant Let's asshole. Kill. After Barum attacked Antilia, they declared a state of emergency and closed every single route to the spaceport. If you're done Barum with the story, please let me know. Guard, so it'll be a difficult mission for you. So. We will put Jehudi into the linear driver that connects the central part of the spaceport with the outside ring of the colony. This guy likes talking. Is near the warehouse, which is under the mountain well, he's telling us where we rendezvous You'll with him, so... Yeah, that's kind of but important. Because it's our job to get the giant robot to him. Where you are now. Under that dam, there should be a warehouse area... We're not just keeping the giant robot the for ourselves and causing we'll havoc. What are we going to cause havoc on? There's nobody left. Everyone got microwaved. More fighting? Do you mean I have to do it all again? Go attack the microwaved remains. What are you in? It's a fighting orbital frame, isn't it? We already did that. I'm not you guys. Don't think that I'm a killer just like you. What? I only came here because I was going to give you. You want to know what the worst part is? So hurry up. Nobody had any bags of popcorn on them. Leo. That is for it all. People will be killed, you understand? Me and Selvis, we all might be killed over this. We all know that story. No, you don't. Uh, by the way, he's uh, confessing he's died. done several things he's not proud of. So, yeah. in case you're interested in the story, you it's the whiny the hour up, with Shinji and friends. Alan was oh boy, yay! Alan was Elena's boyfriend and my best friend. Or like they call it. In Japan, of course, we best part of plot. What? Because they, it's in every game. Well, the good news is this you game's not going to end with a bunch of people standing capacity. around congratulating Leo You're for something. The frame now. We will actually get an ending, the kind of. Area. But not really. Just meet me there. I'll listen to your sob story then. Uh, ending involves giant robots. Leo. Yes. <laughs> It will involve giant robots, at least. Into all of this. But Please, that's not for another three parts. <laughs> Please. Okay. I'll go. That's what you want, isn't it? What? I'll go to the warehouse. Is that what you want me to do? Yes. So our goal is to go through the mountains to find a random warehouse Sorry where this guy happens to be. Earlier. I mean, what I said hey. about Alan. Can't we just uh, microwave him? I was ready for this. No, because we asked, because in order to get here, we had to destroy the microwaves. The mountain top mm. is the dam, our destination. Well, here's the thing: it was either we get really crispy or he gets. I spot a flying orbital frame near the top of the mountain. It is yeah, to be this is not interesting anymore. <laughs> it's just talking. From the air is almost suicide. There's no way talking. To then what should I do? There is a rainwater gully Plot like the river talking on the slope things of the mountain. Stuff. I suggest you fly Rob, to the top of the mountain. I think we just made our own new rule. No more Kojima games. Oh, there goes Metal Gear. Yeah, Metal Gear with the three parts is just in row, it's just fast. Oh, we stopped talking and started doing stuff. Yeah, we stopped talking and exploded. Have you have happened. exploded, sir. Yep. As I said, we are on the plot railroad, so the game's at least being nice enough to give us all the upgrades we need. We stock all of our sub weapons. That's good. We have shot down the enemy. We will cease battle position. Now, many of these walls are actually damaged, and your radar will show you where you can break them to get to the next area. That's nice. We have Unfortunately, you're still gonna have to actually, you know, 
break them all. But at least you don't have to go around randomly attacking walls until one finally breaks. We have obtained the item. Also, why can't you just fly over the whole thing? Well, here's the thing. We've got... ...the way into the web... And unfortunately, they made the damn amount of unbreakable yum. A very rare oh. element, only found on Jupiter. Useful you for cut out for you cut out for pretty much all of that. Yep. Your they took giant robots to you to spread out their secret. We have obtained the passcode. So, well, I'm gonna say the secret anyway. The dam is made of unbreakable -ium and real rhodium. Oh no! Too strong and materials. No need over your game. head? <laughs> Most definitely, even Metatron can't compare with that. It yeah, looks like there's sky over your head, though. Well, here's the thing. This warehouse is also buried in the mountain. So and we are a giant just... robot, not dwarf in technology. I, I was hoping that you were going to say that. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a You stop now. Diggy diggy holes. Keep diggy singing, diggy I'm going to make you... If you sing that Echo. ever again, I make you play Deep Dwarf Fortress for the channel. Oh god, no, please no. No, 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 no. You'll stop then? Fine, fine. It would be not me. Everyone would like to play Warp for this question. We have shot down the enemy. We will see. We have obtained the Metatron well, Orb. Well, we are on the Platte Railroad. Um, yeah, I'm out of commentary now. <laughs> and he's played we're, that. We're on the Platte Railroad. We, we go. Forward. Go, go, go. Apparently, more throw more energy more balls more. at balls. Well, we aren't going Super Mohawk Sand. Whatever that means. It's like a Super Saiyan, only instead of the stupid hair, you get a Mohawk. We have shot down the enemy. So, oh, okay. so the stupid hair, you get stupid hair? Yeah, you get different styles, stupid air. We have shot down the enemy. We have obtained okay. the item. I thought maybe it just made you cause gravity to do weird things and make people sick just by looking at you. Well, that, those are seizure fighting robots. At least you can lock on to the bit you need to hit, so you don't have to aim randomly. Yep. You have to aim manually. It looked like there was a lock on type thing. No. It's the, those are just highlighters to say, shoot here, idiot. Well, you have more of an indication than you do with the sniper rifle. We have shot down the enemy. Yeah, the only reason I'm good with the sniper rifle is because I know how to aim with the tiny little reticule. So where are you storing these nearly 300 javelins? In a vector trap. In javelin space. Nope, in a vector trap. You know that whole, uh... Little pocket dimension we can make and create on a whim, where we're getting all these javelins from. You're getting all the javelins from boxes. Those are vector traps. Are uh, they bit like uh, ghost traps from Ghostbuster? Well, with ghost traps, they are actually, you know, not holding a physical beam exactly. We have shot down the enemy. So, are you next getting four in a row? We have shot down the enemy. 
We have obtained the item. There you go. Also, if you're missing any sub weapons, you'll get them here. For example, there's the mummy I mentioned last part. Yep. We have obtained the Metatron or And once we go through here, we are completely plot railroaded. For the rest of the game? For the rest of the game. We still had options in there. Here, it's a straight up railroad. So here's our destination. Where's and the here's the first room of our railroad adventure. From above. Well, a boss uh, fight. Well, at least this means we're near the end, right? Yep. What? We have a boss fight, a boss fight, a bunch of enemy rushes, and a boss fight. And story. Uh, Don't forget I was facing. I was facing. Final boss fight, which takes place in two parts. And Benny stuck Dr. Wiley. Um, Dr. Wiley said screw it, this game's got too much plot for me. Seems like something he'd say. Well, anyway, I've got the keys to a giant robot. You guys want it? I'm okay. Also, aren't you glad about all these sub weapons we got? I mean, we've got so many uses for all of them. Also, you are, you are only using like two, one or two. Oh, look at that, you're online. Ugh, sorry, is there something? I may have fallen asleep again. Are you. but nothing else can you sidestep in your suit? As that's I said, that's all the those, biggest problem that's with these all bosses. the bosses are. <laughs> yeah. Well, the next boss we fight Circle is actually our size. Oh, well, no offense, but even X-Men and Destiny have more than the boss fight. Which is really saying something. This is the better game overall. And yet, that game has better boss fights. Uh, I cannot believe we actually came up with a comment for X-Men Destiny. That was positive. Well, this game has giant lasers. I suppose. And giant robots that are cool, unlike that Sentinel. Meh. And like always, they have a second form. I thought he was, I was hoping and thought he was just running away, even though you said he was going to the second form. Oh, he's also got a bullshit shield in front of his weak spot. Sometimes he'll just block everything. And he also has a diabolical partner in crime. The camera. This camera seems to be your enemy. It's the three greatest enemies in this game. Giant robots and the fucking camera. Game over. Well, only three parts left. Silly you. You really thought you could beat Thank me. Thank God. You did that on purpose. You just wanted to show off the you lose quote.